Oh y'all, what's up? We are out here, back in the 407. We're back in Florida today. But today we're fishing. And that's about all that matters right now. I'm backing up and we're gonna put the, uh, I'll put the palm pilot in the bed of the truck, put the trolling motor, some batteries in for weight. And we are gonna go hit the lake. Now the bite a week ago, last Thursday, super hot really good you got uh, you know you saw that video just i was just on them on them on them and then it just died it was almost like the wind picked up totally killed the bite uh, i was getting my butt kicked in that was this little plastic boat with uh the little light trolling motor that i've got but, but uh, hopefully they're chewing pretty good the water temperature is going to be pretty cold because it's pretty chilly outside today it's 59 degrees and uh, hopefully it doesn't slow the bite too much but we're definitely going to go back and fish a lot of the areas i had fished a couple weeks ago found a good numbers of fish we're going to see if they're chewing again and we're going to get out there and see what happens <laughs> You know, I've said it once, but I'll say it again. You do not need a $40,000 bass boat, especially all you youngins, to go and catch fish. Look at this. This is the setup for the day. It's just the Jumbo hanging out the back. We got a, a brick in there for weight in the water. A little trolling motor to mount on the back of the boat. Some vice grips for the battery terminals, make sure they, st they stick good. And that's it. That'll get you out on the water, get you fishing all those private lakes around your houses and all that. Catch some good fish. Alright, so now we are going to head to the lake. As you can see, the boat is in the bed of the truck. We are all set to go. Like I was talking about, y'all need to like take your mind off of the whole I need $400 equipment, I need the best rods, the best reels, the best boat. Man, you don't need to be caught up in all that. I've never had a boat over three grand. Fun fact for Bass Lear. And you know the whole boat thing bust out another thousand. You might as well just have 1500 bucks on standby as soon as you buy a bass boat. Between registration, things you're gonna buy for the boat, either whether it's life jackets, new parts, whatever. You're gonna be customizing the boat to fit your needs. You're gonna put electronics on it, whatever. This little plastic Pelican John boat I got, not even a John boat, it's called a Palm Prowler. I think it costs like 500 something bucks. It's a lot more stable than an aluminum boat. Um, it doesn't rock at all, it fishes two people very well. Is that it's heavier in the water, so it doesn't quite get blown around. Like If you're on like a 10 foot John boat and you put a deck on that thing, up on the front, and then you put your battery, your trolling motor, your gear, all that close to you by that deck, the whole back of the boat's gonna be sitting up in the water like that, all propped up, and you're just gonna get your freaking butt whipped by the wind. I mean, you're gonna be fighting yourself the whole day. So like every time I go out on a, on a small boat like this, especially when I'm fishing by myself, you bring two batteries. Now what that does is obviously one, it sends the security that you're not gonna run out battery life on both batteries in one day. It's almost like guaranteed. You're gonna have to fish around Okeechobee four times with the same two batteries to run out. But the other sense of having that second battery is obviously for the weight in the back. You're gonna equal out the weight a lot better in that boat and it's gonna ride a lot better. You're gonna take wind a lot better. And it's especially important if you have an outboard. So you wanna be able to get on plane. That's the biggest issue with you in John boats is you see people just with the bow of the boat riding in the freaking air. It looks like they're doing a wheelie. Well, it's because they don't have their weight distributed right and that engine isn't strong enough to push that boat on the plane, especially under nine nines. So that's just a little boat talk. I mean, I'm, I'm huge on knowledge. It's actually something I'm trying to do when I get out of the army. And Lane's sister had lived on the lake at one point. And then you throw all these neighborhoods. It starts getting more pressure. The bite gets off. And now it's like an actual chore to find fish. Like, it's kind of cool now because it's like once you find them, you know you're kind of locked on them because you know that the guys that moved in the neighborhood aren't finding the fish like you are. From, from last week when I fished it, I'm, I'm not even going to waste time. There's a lot, of, a lot, a lot of dead water. There's probably more dead water on this lake than there is on the Butler chain. I know pretty much all the dead water out on this lake, and that's what really helps me find the fish here. And then, um, you know, we can put a couple hours in and see what it does for us, see what we can snag. Alright, well, I didn't get the hook set on camera because I didn't think it was, I was... I'm literally heading back to, to get my sunglasses. I'm out on the lake now, and I forget my sunglasses. This isn't a bad fish, either. There we go. 
hooked right in the corner, solid two pound fish. Caught him right off, right off some cattails over there. Look at that hook set. They weren't going anywhere. Beautiful fish too. A little midwater update. Um, I actually forgot my sunglasses, so I was heading back and just fishing these cattails and snagged a good fish. So I'm gonna go get my sunglasses. We're gonna get back on the lake because obviously the bite's on. But you have to take it in my perspective. I've grown up fishing these lakes since I was old enough to freaking walk, man. And like that's all over the lake, just nothing but construction. I don't mean to be a creep, but like look at like look, nothing but houses. Go. All right. Well, something's wrong with the GoPro, so I wasn't able to get it on the chest cam. Um, I think the the format on the memory or the, the SD card kind of went out. I don't I don't really know what's going on. But right in the I mean, right in the freaking roof. Look where this fish is hooked at. Damn. Definitely not a bad fish at all. Finally getting into a decent decent bite here. There he goes. There's a huge drop off right off of this dock. And it never holds anything, but they're always up on the top of the drop off. They're always small in here. Oh my fuck, come on. Get the hell out of here. There we go, got him coming out. Got him as I was reeling the flute out from the, from the dock. You guys heard and saw, probably saw that, that hit in there. That was him. Smacked this little fluke and then came back for it. I was about to say, there's no way he was that committed and then not stay on it, you know? But he definitely came back. Huge fry ball right here. I mean, huge. Zombie. It's all tore up. Always all over this grass. You don't even have to do anything with it. You're just casting. Cast, let it sink, and they're on. Ah. This whole time I'm thinking it's a good one. He just had some muscle to him, that's all. Probably missed all of that jumping the way I was lean, but I got him way back in some stuff. Definitely a heavier fish. The bigger, best of the fish are definitely up in some cover. I mean, that he's just, he's short. He's only about 14 inches, but he's definitely thick. Construction companies just stay burning stuff. I mean, there's smoke all the way around the light. There's construction going on over here. And, uh, Obviously, I started fishing a lot of this Kissimmee grass. I kind of backed away from the pads. I wasn't really, I was catching numbers, but I'm looking for bigger fish. So I think I'm gonna keep fishing up against right off this grass line. They're not in the grass, they're kind of right off of it, which seems to be the pattern the last couple of weeks here in Florida. But we keep doing that. I'm gonna stay off the shore, kind of fish out deep a little bit, and see what that brings. 